Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Banach foot massager. Let me go ahead and open this up so I can show you what it looks like. So I do like how this comes packaged. I feel like if you were giving this as a gift for somebody, it would be really nice just because it has a big handle and everything. This is the actual device itself and everything that it came with was the user manual. It comes with the little plug-in right here, which is just a typical wall unit, which is nice. And it has a little plug-in cord. I'd say the cord is about five feet long, which is nice if you're not sitting in a recliner or a chair that's right next to an outlet, you do have a five feet clearance. So we also do have a remote control, which is nice, especially if you have this on the ground and you're using it for your feet and you have limited mobility or you're just busy doing other things, you can just use this remote to change some of the options on here without bending over. So on the remote, we do have a power, air intensity, vibe mode, kneading, and heat changes on here. And we also have those same options um, right down here on the actual device itself. For air intensity, we have low, medium, high. For kneading, we have low, medium, high. For heat, we have low, medium, high. We have the vibe mode change button as well as the power button here. So something that I really like about this is that you can change it up and use it for several different parts of your body. You can use this for the bottom of your feet. Like you can stick your feet right down in here. You can use it for your calves so that you are sticking your feet on the ground and massaging your calves. You can also use this to massage your arm as well. And so depending on how you're gonna use it, it depends on how you're going to adjust this little strap right here. There's a little push in button. So for example, if you just were sitting in a chair and you just wanted to put your feet straight down in it, you could just keep it flat down if you want to. And if you wanna adjust this bar, you can have it this direction and you can use this on your calves. You're gonna have your feet right down here for example, just like this and set your calf right in here so you can get the full massage on your calves. And then just depending on your seated position, you can just rotate this however it works best for you. So you can see this is just a little bit tilted and elevated just like this. So that if you did want your feet just kind of resting a little bit upwards, that's a nice option as well. I also do like that this is a good carrying handle just for when you are carrying it into the next room or taking it on a trip with you, you can do that really easily. There is a nice little spot for the remote control right here. It's a little magnet, so that can stay there and won't get lost either, so that's nice. So I just wanna point out that this whole section right around here, you can see there's a little zipper that goes right around this little cloth section, and you can zip it off if you need to wash it, for example. So I do really like that option just because things happen, things get messy, things get spilled, and so I do like the option of being able to take it off and wash it. Okay, now that we have taken a look at it, seen everything that it can do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the different ways that I'm going to be using it, just so you can see how it looks. I have this all plugged in and ready to go. I do wanna note that the little plug-in cord, it connects to the outside of this little bar, just so that no matter where you adjust this bar, this cord is not gonna get tangled, which is really nice. So I can put my feet in just like this, but I think because of the position that I'm sitting in, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. So I'm just gonna tilt it just like this, so I can put my feet right in here, and I'm gonna push the power button. Okay, so I have it on low air intensity, low kneading, and no heat. So I'm gonna turn it on high heat and just see how warm it gets. I'm gonna turn up the air intensity, which is basically going to be puffing out the air um, all the way around here. So you can see it's gradually inflating the sides just to create that um, pressure. It's not uncomfortable at all. It feels really nice actually. And then I'm gonna turn up the kneading, which is kind of the balls on the bottom, just working their way, working around the bottom of the base of your foot. Okay, so there's some larger balls kind of working their way and kneading the bottom of the foot, and then there's some smaller ones, um, but it does, it feels really nice. Okay, so I do probably like the kneading on the low setting. You can turn the kneading all the way off, which I think is a nice option um, if you just want this air intensity, and that feels, okay, it's like puffing way out, and that feels really nice. So this is the vibration mode, so I just turned that off. You can hear that that has turned off. And I feel like that's honestly just a personal preference. I feel like this is honestly my favorite setting. I can feel the heat, it feels nice and warm. So I like the high heat, the low kneading, and the high air intensity with the vibration off. I feel like that's my favorite, but I can definitely see how I'd wanna mix it up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out on my calves. I'm gonna put it right here so that it's a lot more slanted. I'm gonna put it a little bit closer. 
I'm gonna put my feet all the way through it just like that. So I'm just fitting this in here to where it works to fit my calves right in here. So I feel like that's nice and comfortable. So I still have it on heat. I really do like that heat, that's nice. It's not burning hot, which is just perfect. I feel like using this on your calves, the air intensity makes a, a lot more of a difference just because obviously your calves are gonna be bigger than your feet. So I do feel like the air intensity does feel nice. But also the kneading is, it's really pleasant as well. So obviously you can use this for your forearms in different ways. I just have it sitting on my lap. You can definitely have it sitting on your desktop or whatever works best for you. But I'm just gonna set it right here and I feel like this would be the perfect opportunity to use the remote control. So I'm just gonna put it on power. I have it on high heat, kind of a low kneading and a high air intensity. All right, I feel like my favorite setting for just using this on my arms is probably the high heat and the high air intensity, not as much the kneading, but that's, I just don't have any soreness in my forearms there, but it does feel really pleasant with the air. Overall, I am impressed with this. I love the versatility of it. I love the cord placement. I just feel like it's very functional, easy to store away. And overall, I feel like this is gonna get a lot of views. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this one out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.